Welcome to ChinaSecures.com and Chinese Stocks TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the Chinese small and mid-cap space every morning at the open. So you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great Chinese investments Monday, December the 20th. As expected, we're in the week before Christmas, so it's going to be a slow news cycle flows for the next few days. But I do have one really good press release for you. It comes out of WSP Holdings Trades on the New York Stock Exchange under WH. They announced that one of their subsidiaries has won a $91.8 million contract in new orders from Venezuela's state-owned oil company. Uh, WSP is a Chinese manufacturer of seamless casing, tubing, and drill pipes using oil and natural gas exploration, drilling, and extraction. So you've got to love those products. We all know where natural gas, where oil is going the next five or ten years. We know what China's demand is going to be like. So this is definitely a great space to be in. And uh, news like this is always very positive. The order was received from PDVSA out of Venezuela, according to the company. That's a state-owned oil company. Uh, it's received 26 new purchase orders, totaling about 36,700 tons of uh, casing pipe, 11,300 tons of tubing pipe, 6,300 tons of line pipe, all totaling $91.8 million. Here's what I really like. They're expected to complete delivery of these orders by February 2011. So you're talking about something that's going to hit the bottom and top line in the first quarter of 2011. I love that. The company also says these are follow-on orders from orders that they received from PDVSA in May of 2010. So that's a great sign because it shows that PDVSA was hot, was very happy with the products that received in May 2010. And anytime you've got a state oil company, especially uh, in Venezuela, uh, ordering, uh, reordering and re-upping products from a client, like uh, from, a, from a provider, sorry, like WSP. That's a very positive sign. The company says its products are used in China's major oil fields and they're exported to oil producing regions throughout the world. Now, here's one point of caution, because not everything here uh, is a silver lining. The company closed on Friday at $1.04. It's 52-week high. It's $3.49. It's 52-week low is a dollar. So they're essentially trading right at a dollar, and they're pretty much 80% off their 52-week high. So that warrants significant due diligence to find out what was the negative shock or, or, or series of shock events that have led the company to trade down towards its 52-week low, especially in a year when oil prices are going nothing but upward and uh, all, the talk is, all the talk and all the rage about the increased demand of oil and natural gas uh, that's going to be coming out of China. So go take a look at that. Otherwise, on its face, great news. If you look for more great Chinese small and mid-cap companies, get up to the front page of Chinasecurities.com. Three things to do there. Watch the show on a daily basis, or if you can't get there every day, uh, sign up through our syndication partners at YouTube, iTunes, Yahoo Video, whatever is convenient for you. Two, take a look at the best press releases out of the entire space of Chinese and small and mid-cap companies right on our front page. We've listed them by industry over the past few days. And finally, get into the directory Discover, uh, take a look at the 250, 300 small mid-cap succinct descriptions of each one, and you can filter the list by industry and or exchange to find the one that best suits your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.